If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feev Chief here and we're back with some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. So today we got a couple low budget filters to help you build your coins up. And as we get into this, all I ask that you guys do, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and check out my Twitch, link is in the description for all of my daily live streams. So let's go ahead and dive in. And the first thing we're gonna be looking at is something that kind of flies under the radar and it's going to be bronze rare goalkeepers. Now these cards always have some sort of value due to things like the icon SBCs where you need to submit full bronze squads, daily SBCs, things like that. And it seems like nobody has any clue about these. And as you can see, these bronze rare goalkeepers right now sell for 1200 coins a piece. So we're going to try and snipe and bid on these for a little bit cheaper. So selling at 1200, you're going to lose 60 coins on tax. So you'd like to pick these up for a thousand coins or less. And it looks like it's going to be really, really easy to pick these up in terms of sniping. And we've just picked one up for 850 there. We just go ahead, sell it on for 1200 easy coins. And you just do this over and over and over. Now, what I always recommend to people is before you go in and do sniping, actually go in, check the bidding market first, because you can get a lot of deals like this as well. It looks like right now there isn't much to bid on, but it's always worth checking. Actually, right here, we got one. Sometimes you get this market glitch where not everything pops up on the market, but we get that for 950. And you just scroll through and see if there's anything. And then while you're waiting for those bids to expire, that's when you're gonna go in and uh, try to try to snipe these cards. So easy, easy stuff there. Bronze rare goalkeepers. I'd like to pick up one more here, just to show you that it is just so easy to get these cards. So we'll go three, two, one. All right, nothing there. But first one, bronze rare goalkeepers. Second one. <clears throat> As you can imagine, very, very simple. It's going to be silver rare goalkeepers. You can do the exact same thing, actually. And if we take a look at the price of these, wow, these are expensive at the moment. These right now selling for about, what, 1,700, 1,600 coins? Looks like 1,600 is going to be the price we're going to sell these silver rare goalkeepers for. So selling for, let's say 1,500, actually. Selling for 1,500, you're going to lose 75 on tax. So you want to pick these up for 200 coins under, which is 1,300 coins. So again, first thing, go in, check the bids, see what the deal is. We got a couple of cards coming through here with only 250 coin bids. So we want to keep an eye on all of those there. So we go through, bid on those. Now we got five, six, seven minutes until those actually expire. So we're going to go in and try to snipe these for 1300 or less here. So it's just a very repetitive, simple method. But the thing is, it just seems like nobody ever knows about these cards. So it just makes it really, really easy to trade with them. And we win a bronze one there for a thousand on bid. Now, this is really nice to do as well when you're getting a lot of like silver supply, for example. So let's say on like a Thursday when we get marquee matchups and we get a lot of silver supply. This is going to be a great method because there's a lot more silver goalkeepers getting listed up on the market. Now, another way you could go about this is just looking at goalkeepers and just setting your max bid price to like, say, 600 here and just flicking through and only paying attention to the rare ones so that you can see both the bronze and silver at the same time, but not really as efficient as I'd like. Some people do actually do that. I don't really know why, but they say it's a bit better. I stay away from that. I don't think it's worth it. So as of right now, I'd say this bronze one's really the go-to because silver trading in terms of sniping, especially if you're just sniping silver rare goalkeepers, it's a very spe specific filter. Oh, we missed them for 400. It's very specific and there's not a lot of supply. So it's going to be a lot more difficult to pick those cards up and make coins off of them. So that's why I kind of prefer this bronze one. You, you see a lot more cards popping up and things like that. So just to add a little third filter to this video, maybe a little bit more high budget one, one you can go for here is a goalkeeper nation French gold rare, set your minimum buy now to 10,250. And then in this filter, oh wait, no, you don't go gold rare. You just go all qualities. In this filter, you know, you got Loris in there and then you also have some different team of the week cards like Costil, like Mignan, or not Mignon, I think it's uh, LaFont has a couple Team of the Week cards. He's the one. So you check these out. Let's go ahead and check the price of these goalkeepers. 
He's just selling for about 22k a piece. So selling for 22k, lose 1.1k on tax. So would like to pick these up for like 20.5k or less. So another easy way to make some coins there. Oh, we missed that Lurice for 20k. Come on now. But yeah, these will pop up really quickly as well during something like lightning rounds when you know tons of people are going to be packing Lurice, listing them up on the market. You can make some easy coins off the back of it. So definitely recommend you guys do this. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.